Hey, it's Jen Vax with YourColorStyle.com and in this video I'm going to compare the bright, cool, and deep color type with the bright, warm, and deep color type. Now in your color style, just in case you're new, the when I say bright, cool, and deep, I'm referring to the brighter color wheel. So in this case, both color types take colors from the brighter color wheel. The bright cool and deep is designed for people with cool undertones. So you're going to see here there's a removal of the really warm colors between red, orange, and golden yellow. And you can see here over on the right side, those colors are all right here. Then deep means that you have a range of colors that look really well on you, the very deep colors, I should say. So that range with the very deep colors. and you can see that they both go all the way to the darkest ring on that color wheel and include the brightest color in there as well. So they're, as you, they're very similar as far as the colors in the color palette, but they're also distinctly different when being worn. Someone who is bright, cool, and deep will typically have a high contrast about them, the ability to wear high contrast patterns. So a simple example would be white and black together look really great on them. Being able to wear the extremes, very, very dark, very bright, and very, very light with a shine or shimmer to that. So like a cotton pastel would not suit them, but a, a very light shimmery color would. So that's what that's why you see this long, you know, long range of colors here. But some of the medium colors aren't nearly as flattering as the extremes. So keep that in mind. For someone who's bright, warm, and deep, the extremes are not true. A pastel will likely wash that person out. You really want to go from the brightest ring all the way to the deep. Now you can, of course, wear some of the lighter colors, which is why you see this range, but you're not going to have the high contrast need. You're going to look really great in those deep, warm, rich tones. One more thing to note, just in case you're wondering, because it often causes confusion, that there are a lot of cool colors from the cool side of the color wheel included in the warm color palette. That is because these are considered neutral colors, uh, excuse me, universal colors, in that they look good on everyone. Just because you have warm undertones doesn't mean you can't wear cool colors. All right, I know that's a big misunderstanding. So even if you look good in teals and greens and blues, and you say, well, those are cool colors, so I must have cool undertones. As you can see here, it can be worn by both warm and cool individuals. So you need a little bit more to figure that out. Here are the bright, cool, and deep, and bright, warm, and deep cards. These are the color analysis cards that come with the kit. If you're interested in doing it yourself, your own color analysis, you can get the Your Color Style Kit, and that will be a link in the description with this video if you're interested in something like that. Notice the very uh, cool, bright colors here. This is the specific range to the bright, cool uh, color palette and goes deep, as you can see, so bright to very, very deep. And then we have bright, warm, and deep, which is a very warm color. Is that golden yellow to a reddish orange, orangish red, to like a tomato red, and you've to this nice, deep, rich, earthy tones. Those are the two colors. So let me show you some examples here. This is someone who is bright, cool, and deep. She looks great with those bright, bright, cool tones and not so great with the warm. It doesn't suit her as well. Now the bright colors suit her, but if I were to flip this around, you can see that now where these earthy tones don't suit her. She really needs those bright and cool tones. Here's another individual that's bright, cool, and deep. She has almost like a bluish hue to her skin, just a little bit. It's I can see it. And these colors just look absolutely beautiful on her because she needs that contrast. That dark skin with the bright colors will be absolutely stunning. Now over here, the bright orange also looks really good on her, which is actually very common for someone with bright, cool, and deep colors. Orange looks really, really good on them. I don't understand why, except maybe it's because orange is an even balance of red and yellow, which are two primary colors, and therefore some people can wear that orange. Orange is not always the easiest color to wear. So she looks great in some of these brighter colors. 
Um, but the biggest dif- difference is if you were someone that was like this and was trying to figure out um, whether or not you're warm or cool, notice again, these deep earthy colors, which is the bright warm and deep color palette, just don't. They make It's all muddy on her. It does, doesn't work at all. Here's someone else that's bright, cool, and deep. And she has almost like an olive kind of skin tone to her. Dark brown eyes, white hair, really, really pretty in those brighter colors. The yellows and the oranges here make her skin look almost more yellow. And even though it's not a really high res image, I can tell this is not a color palette that suits her. Here's another good example of bright, cool, and deep, almost a bluish hue to her black hair, dark eyes, and she looks really pretty. I almost like a, a, there's a coolness in her skin as well. It's not that golden yellow. And at first glance, you might try these warmer colors on her and think that she looks okay in it. And I would agree, okay is a good word for it. But again, if I flip it, those earthier, richer colors, not so great. Now you can see how cool her dark hair is next to these earthy tones. So she's bright, cool, and deep. Here's someone who is bright, cool, and deep. She also has almost an olive skin tone to her, even though she's very fair. Very dark, cool eyes, almost like a bluish tint to her eyes. It looks really great in those bright colors and not so great in those warm colors. So let's go through the opposite. Here's someone that has golden skin, dark eyes. She is bright, warm, and deep. When you put those bright fuchsias next to her, you can look how warm and yellow she looks against that. It's not harmon- harmonious to her overall coloring. But here, that's just beautiful. That's when you know that this works. Look how everything just pulls together just beautifully for her. Another good example, she's not as, in my opinion, she's got a little bit more neutrality to her skin. Um, but again, when you put the warm, it just, it's all of a sudden your eyes go, oh yes, that's right. That's that's what's harmonious with her coloring. Here's someone that is a little bit more neutral. Um, I find her very neutral. She's got very black hair, dark eyes that could be warm or cool, almost neutral skin. Doesn't necessarily look bad in the bright and cool colors. I think she looks better in the warm colors. This is someone that I actually probably want to see in person because she is so neutral. This is where it gets really tricky and a lot of people find confusion, but there's always a better choice. It doesn't mean that she couldn't wear the cooler colors, but I think that the warmer colors are probably her best option. The other thing to consider is if you're someone like this that doesn't just can't figure out between the two color, the two color palettes is can you wear really high contrast color uh, patterns like black and white and really just really bright intense patterns if you can then you're likely bright cool and deep and not bright warm and deep and that might be the one thing you have to consider if you feel like you're right in between so i hope that helps And if you're trying to figure out what colors flatter you best, and most importantly, to learn what colors to avoid that drain you or overpower you, take the quiz out on yourcolorstyle.com slash quiz. It's absolutely free, and it'll walk you through step-by-step on how you can figure out what types of colors are going to make you shine. I'm Jen Vax, and thanks for watching.